hi guys how are you welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Nunji Hungaji. if you're new here please subscribe to my channel like and leave a comment i really really appreciate you all for watching if you've not subscribed please do so and i really really appreciate i'll give you a moment to do that mm. okay thank you so today i'm going to do a video on uh, how i made my first ten thousand dollars in america that is a million kenya shillings i'm from kenya that's why i'm converting the money into kenya shillings so the reason of doing this video is because uh, when you hear that someone is going to the u.s or to a first world country the next thing that comes into your mind is that they are going to be super rich they are going to be millionaires they are going to live extravagant but how true is that because um unless someone has gone like has come here or has experienced this they'll never understand this and it's it's understandable because i also thought that it was easy getting money and it's not that easy okay because um we think in terms of shillings like when i'm i was home i'll say Let's say I get paid ten dollars an hour. That's uh, a, a thousand sh Kenya shillings, and that's too much money. Huh? But there's something I didn't do. I I was thinking with my lifestyle in Kenya, but the lifestyles are totally, totally different. Because here is one. Number one, it's hard to own anything in America. Let's say you have your own house. Okay, even if you have your own house you have to pay for ta for its taxes so it's like literally you don't own anything here you have to pay for taxes for everything that you got okay and that's why it's very hard for some people to make it that's why you see some people never go back home it's not because they do not want to go back home it's because the system is made in such a way that uh you keep going into circles like it's a cycle of repeating the same things repeating themselves it's like you get born you go to school you get loans to go to college you buy a house you get old you you're taken to a nursing home because you have no one to take care of then you die like that's a cycle or with uh africans or foreigners you come here you work you pay your bills and repeat like that's it if you need if you want to leave um if you want to go back home then you have to really live below your means so it it depends like when you get here you decide like you choose to either you want to live here forever or you want to go back home and for those people who live here forever how do you want to live your life because uh the, the the let's say the good thing i don't know whether it's a good thing or it's a bad thing you have everything at your disposal let's say you want to drive the latest car you want to use the latest phone you can get that as long as you have a job to pay for it you can get that you can get it on credit as long as you're going to pay for it but that means you working more hours okay you having to do multiple jobs to meet your living standards say for example you have i have um person x has a job on this job they get paid 20 dollars an hour that's close to the minimum the minimum wage uh, here is i think it's about i'm not sure but i think it's about 15 dollars let's say you are new from africa and you get here and you get a job and you're lucky you get paid 20 dollars an hour and uh, you work um 40 hours a week because mostly you work um, eight hours a day that's five days a week that makes it 40 hours a week so 40 hours getting paid at 20 dollars that's um that's um 40 hours getting <laughs> um i just don't know that's 800 a week 800 a week times um a month has four weeks so 800 800 dollars uh by the four weeks uh that's um 3200 so the cheapest rent that you're going to get is a thousand dollars okay 
uh, mind you, you have uh, rent and utilities are different because you have to pay rent um, and pay differently, like you pay the rent and you pay utilities. Utilities is uh, things like water, electricity, cable, yeah. You also have to pay for your phone and for internet. You have to fuel your car. If you have a car note, you have to pay for the car note. So out of the uh, out of the 3200 that you're earning, you have to deduct uh, the expenses if not counted food, and food is expensive here. Let's say you have uh, a child, yeah? Children are expensive. So it, it takes a lot of effort. It means you have to work double shifts. It, mean, it means you have to take uh, two jobs. That's why most people take two jobs because why it's not easy a jo one job can never sustain you unless you are in a very very um good paying job which is uh i'm not i'm not trying to say it's not possible but uh it takes some time before you get into that lucrative job or a job that's going to pay you um, the like higher amount of money because you might be a graduate back home but when you come here you have to go back to school okay it's it, it doesn't it doesn't mean because you are a degree holder back home when you come here it's not uh most of the times it's not recognized and even if it's recognized they want to teach you like every job you, let's say uh you've been a driver in a company and you want to go to a company B, they still have to teach you, okay? They don't like, they don't um, take chances when it comes to things like that. Even if you've been working the same job, when you get to another one, you have to be trained from beginning to end. So it's, it's, uh, it's not easy. Like, let's say everybody has to, st you have to start somewhere, like regardless of who you are, you have to start somewhere because before they process your papers, before you get stable, before you are like allowed to work, it takes time and it's a process. So it's not something that happens overnight. Like you have to really work, work your legs off. You have to put in the hard work. And if you are lazy, oh, unto you, because that means you're going to struggle. 